We all know about ECG very well. It records the electrical activity of the heart for 10 seconds. Sometimes we may not get a clear understanding of a patient's problem by looking at 10 seconds data. We may need data of a longer duration. We may need data for 24 hours or sometimes 72 hours. There comes the role of the Holter test. A Holter monitor is a portable ECG machine that records the electrical activity of the heart over 24 hours to 72 hours. We can record even up to one or two weeks also. Both ECG and Holter records the activity and gives the report in a graphical form as shown here. Holter monitoring is generally done for one to three days. Few patients may need Holter monitoring for an extended period of seven to 14 days. When do you need a Holter? A Holter test is generally needed when you have either unexplained fainting episodes, unexplained dizziness, or unexplained brain stroke. In such a case, your doctor takes ECG and 2D echo tests to know the cause. If the cause remains unknown, then he asks for a Holter test. Another common indication is palpitations. Palpitation is a sensation a patient gets that the heart is racing, pounding, fluttering, or skipping a beat. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you Sometimes Holter test may be needed for unexplained shortness of breath or chest pain do you need a Holter? Now, you can have a Holter fixed on you at a clinic, hospital, home, or office. Take appointment, rest will be taken care of by the healthcare provider. He visits you and fixes the devices. Shave your chest hair and have a bath before the test. Now we will discuss how the device is attached to you. A healthcare provider will place sticky electrodes on your chest and abdomen. These are about the size of a coin. Wires attached to the electrodes connect to the Holter monitor recording device. The device is about the size of a deck of cards. The device is worn on a belt or attached to a strap. Once the Holter monitor is fixed and you've received instructions on how to wear it, you can return to everyday activities. Your healthcare provider removes it at the end of the study period. The new entrant into the Holter monitor is Patch Holter. Now, they become more popular. The Patch Holter monitor is small and lightweight enough to be worn under clothing. The small size and flexible patch allow the patient to move about freely without the inconvenience of wires. These are water-resistant allowing the patient to shower worry-free. Don't take the Holter monitor off before completion of the test. Many Holter monitors can be damaged by water. While wearing a Holter monitor, avoid taking a bath, a shower, or a swim. You will be shown how to unplug and plug in the sensors and monitor if you have a wireless Holter monitor so that you can take a shower or a bath. You can move, eat, drink and do other routine activities. Report comes within 24 hours. After the completion of the study, data is analyzed and reported by an expert. The report mentions various parameters like lowest heart rate, fastest heart rate, number of ectopic beats, and timing of important events. It also reports events like supraventricular tachycardia, ventricular tachycardia, and atrial fibrillation. It also tells the duration and heart rate of arrhythmia like atrial fibrillation. Your doctor might suggest medications based on the report. Reassurance is all that is necessary at times. Few patients might need procedures like pacemaker surgery, the implantation of an ICD or implantable cardioverter defibrillator, cardiac resynchronization therapy or a biventricular pacemaker, cardiac ablation procedure. Conclusion A Holter monitor is a portable ECG machine that records the electrical activity of the heart over 24 hours to 72 hours. It is generally done for unexplained palpitations, dizziness, fainting episodes, or syncope. 
It is mainly meant to know about arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation, bradycardia and ventricular tachycardia.